Art is man's deepest expression of his understanding of life. He sifts through the complex layers of the reality around him to capture in his vision what he sees as essential truths. Man's search for meanings in his life are sometimes shared best through his works of art. There is a magic in art, a new logic which reorders material realities in the shape of man's inner visions. Painting is not new to man. Since earliest times, man has painted the walls of his rock shelters and caves. Even today, these paintings are among man's most vital and creative expressions. It is amazing to see that 25,000 years ago, man's works of art were easily as lively and interesting as the best works of today. His instinctive and unschooled responses and his simple relationship with the world around him resulted in the most honest art. Bhim Betka in Madhya Pradesh is one of the most magnificent rock art sites in the world. Over 500 shelters here contain paintings that are mainly of the Mesolithic period, which is 25,000 years ago to 5,000 years ago. The first thing which strikes one here is the grand spectacle of nature. Early man was very conscious of the glory and rugged beauty of his environment. The dramatic nature of the soaring rock formations brings alive the drama of the life of early man. How he may have lived, hunted and made his home in these rock shelters. Behind me, we can see a large archaeological excavation from which evidence was produced that people lived here hundreds of thousands of years ago. The stone tools that were excavated here were broken from, from rocks such as this one. And uh, we can see the scars along this edge where the stones were removed by hitting them. And we have stone tools. His was a world filled with the sights, sounds and the fragrances of nature. The changes in the weather, thunder and rainstorms, the movement of herds of animals, the spots where the bees made their hives, the sounds of birds and the calls of animals. This was the reality of the world for early man. The uh, people of very early prehistory had a, an extremely acute uh, sense of perception, probably much more acute than modern people. Here we feel an immediate and direct connection to the beginnings of man upon this earth. The universal quality of art is such that we are able to appreciate and respond to his paintings so completely, even today. Their thoughts, their fears, the herds of animals they may have hunted, all come alive. These paintings are indeed a great record, stretching across hundreds of thousands of years. The rock shelters of Raisan are not visited by many people. They again remind us of the fact that prehistoric man 
was deeply conscious of the beauty of the world around him. Coming to these sites, even today, we feel transported into a world of unspoiled nature. The preservation of rock paintings is adversely affected both by the ravages of time and the effects of human visitation in modern times. Many, many sites are much damaged, but here we have selected a site near Bhopal, which is particularly well preserved. This area here was uh, used for grinding some substance. It could have been used for grinding food, but I think it is more likely that it was used for grinding uh, pigment for painting the rock surfaces. In uh, this beautifully decorated shelter, people have been living for thousands of years, perhaps even tens of thousands of years. The uh, occupation evidence is still visible on the floor around us, but the shelter is still being used uh, today, as you can see from this modern fireplace here. The uh, age of these paintings is not precisely known. But we do believe that they are anything up to 10,000 years old. Um, I would perhaps suggest that the majority of what we can see here could be in the order of 5,000 years. The paintings in the shelters of Ryson tell of early man's highly developed technical skills. We see here herds of animals which stand out from the rock surface in a striking way. This has been achieved by using white lines to highlight the darker ones. The effect is remarkable. <laughs> 